We're going to look at how to convert decimal numbers in base 10 to binary base 2 numbers using a method we'll call the will it fit method or will it go into this number method. I'm going to start with this horizontal chart listing powers of 2, the lowest power of 2 to the right increasing as we go to the left. 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 to the 2nd, which is 1, 2, 4, 8, etc. We're going to fill in those spaces below as we make our conversion. The number we're going to use for this example is 347. That's the base 10 number, the one we're used to seeing most of the time in our lives. But we're going to turn this into a binary number that just has ones and zeros using the does it fit method. The biggest power of 2 that might go into this is 2 to the 8th. That number is 256. So we'll ask, will 256 fit or go into 347? And yes, it will, one time. So we'll put a 1 in that spot where 2 to the 8th or 256 is. And then we're going to subtract 256 from our number, 347. The result is 91. 91 is the next number we're going to be concerned with. We'll head to the right on our chart and look at 128. Does 128 fit or go into 91? No, it doesn't. So we'll place a zero in that spot and try the next number, which is 64. Will 64 fit or go into 91? Well, yes, it will, one time. So we'll put a one in that spot on the chart, and one times 64 is 64. We'll subtract that from 91. The result is 27. That's the next number we're going to use. So, let's check to see, will 32 go into 27? No, it won't. We'll place a zero in that spot and check the number to the right, which is 16. Will 16 fit or go into 27? Yes, it will, one time. So we'll put a one on our chart. One times 16 is 16. We subtract that from 27 and the result is 11. That's the next number we're concerned with. So, we head to the right. Will 8 fit or go into 11? Yes, one time. So we'll place a 1 in that spot. 1 times 8 is 8. We'll subtract that from 11, and our new number that we care about is 3. We'll head to the right on our chart and check, will 4 fit or go into 3? No, it won't. It's too big. So we'll put a 0 in that spot and move over 1 to the right. Will 2 fit or go into 3? Yes, one time. So we'll place a 1 in that spot on the chart. 1 times 2 is 2. We subtract that from 3. The new number we care about is 1. Will 1 fit or go into 1? Yes, 1 time. So we'll place a 1 in that spot. 1 minus 1 is 0. That's good. That's where we should end. So that 0 makes us happy. So the decimal number, 347, when we convert it to base 2, is 10101011. And that's using the will it fit method.